Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the additional first year depreciation, also known as bonus depreciation. In the prior session, we looked at section 179 and we stated that section 179 is an election that allows businesses to deduct, for example, for the year 2022, up to 1 million and 80,000. The bonus depreciation, it's also another tool that Congress utilizes to encourage companies to buy assets and expense them. And as you expense them, you lower your taxable income. So it's one of the tools for the Congress to boost the economy. How, how, what, the, what does it mean to boost the economy? It means to encourage businesses to buy assets. When, the, when you encourage the business to buy assets, they buy from manufacturers. Manufacturers will have to hire people. They'll have to pay those people. Those people will spend money in communities. When they spend money in the communities, other businesses will benefit. They'll have to hire more people. And this is how you boost the economy. And bonus depreciation is another tool that helps you do so. In 2022, taxpayers can deduct 100% of the cost recovery for any eligible qualified property put in service. Now, what is qualified property? So 100%. Well, it encompasses, it includes the majority of depreciable asset, excluding building, that have a recovery period of 20 years or less. Simply put, anything on the makers it gets can, can get depreciated. Anything subject to makers, 20 years or less, not building. Now, bonus depreciation applies to both new and pre-owned or used property. So that, that's the feature of it. It's used and owned as well. So let's look at the details a little bit more. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So, section 179 is an election, and guess what? First year bonus depreciation is also an election. Again, what is an election? An election means you opt to take this depreciation or you opt not to. Opt means you choose to do it or you, or you don't want to do it. Simply put, if you choose to do it, if you choose to use the bonus depreciation, you can basically deduct everything. However, there are steps in which depreciation to take first. The first election you have to take is section 179 election. So that's the first one. So when you are depreciating your asset, you'd say the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see what section 179 I'm going to take. Well, if you used up all of your section 179 and you still have asset, you move into bonus depreciation. Again, that's if you choose to depreciate more. Now you you might be saying, why wouldn't I choose to depreciate more? Well, section 179 could have a limitation. Okay, you remember section 179, there's a limited amount every year and you are subject to your business income. Bonus depreciation, you want to you want to take it now or you may want to use this depreciation amount in future years. Then the third option, after you used up section 179 or opt out, after you used up bonus depreciation or opt out, anything left, if you want to use makers, you can use makers. For most small businesses, when they use section 179 bonus depreciation, they basically wipe out everything. But this, this is the order. Remember, this these options give you the deductions now. So for tax planning as a business, you want to ask yourself, do I want to take them now? Do I need the deduction this year? Or I, I, may need the, I may need the deduction in future years where my tax rate could be higher and where I have more income, I need to reduce this income. So you, this is part of planning properly, tax planning. Let's take a look at an example that illustrates this additional first year, simple concept, but very powerful and very beneficial in the real world. On February 1st, Adam purchases a machine that falls under the five-year class asset depreciation costing 1560 Well, one thing is it's a maker, five-year class, it means it's subject to the bonus depreciation. So here's what Adam decided. Adam decided to use his section 179 first, assuming no limitation, to expense the whole thing as much as possible. And anything that's left, 
is subject to the bonus depreciation. So what did we do? Well, first thing is we have assets of 1,560. So we're gonna use the bonus depreciation to wipe out as much as possible in section 179. Again, we're assuming here there are no limitation for Adam, just for the sake of simplicity, because we did use, we did illustrate the limitation concept in section 179. What's left is 480,000 to depreciate. What can I do? Well, I can take this as bonus depreciation or I can opt out and use this 480 and subject this to makers. It's up to me. Well, guess what? It seems Adam needs the amount now therefore we're going to depreciate everything notice we didn't even get to makers because by the time we get to makers we depreciated all the assets and of of course i don't have to mention that the basis of the asset of the machinery is down to zero because if you take the depreciation your basis go down to zero what should you do now go to farhat lectures look at additional lectures about cost recovery multiple choice true false that's going to help you and the notes that's going to help you do better whether you are taking an income tax course the cpa exam enrolled agent exam good luck study hard and of course stay safe